Hello everyone, welcome to VTU eShikshana. Myself, Professor Nitin Kumar, Assistant Professor, Department of CSE, VVC, Mysore. So in this video, I am going to explain program number 2 that is present in 18 CSMP 68 Mobile Application Development Laboratory of 6 semester CSE and ISE. The main objective of this particular uh, program number 2 is you have to develop a simple calculator application. So the uh, question that is present in your syllabus where you need to develop the calculator application by doing, uh, by adding all the numbers. But instead of that, I have slightly modified the design so that you can make use of the keyboard functionality which is readily available in the Android and by reading the number 1 and number 2 as a input numbers. So firstly, I will write the design. So this is my design, this is my activity, okay. This is my activity. So the number of activities that we are going to use in this particular program number two is only one activity. Just the outcome is you have to perform simple calculations on basic arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Okay. So firstly, I am going to add a title. This is just a title. It is not mandatory. So it is simple calci. So as I mentioned earlier, so if you want to display something to the user end, then you are going to make use of text view. If you want to read something from the user, then you are going to make use of plain text. So next, I am going to add a plain text. Why? Because I need to read it from the num number, right? I need to read the number. Enter number 1. Next, I am going to add another one plain text. Why? Because I am not going to perform any expression evaluation. So instead of that, I am going to read two individual numbers, number 2. These are the two plain text through which I am going to read the input from the user, number 1 and number 2. And I am going to display the result by using text view. Initially, it will be 0. Initially, it will be 0. As I mentioned earlier, please observe. Here itself, I will show the difference. So this simple calci is a text view that I am using to display the application name to the user. So these two enter number 1 and number 2 are the input reading text views are the plain text that I am using to read the number 1 and number 2. This 0, once again it is a text view which will be used to display the result to the user. Okay. Then I am going to add 4 buttons. So whenever the user clicks on this button, addition should happen. Whenever user clicks on this button, subtraction should happen. Whenever the user clicks on this button, multiplication should happen and division. This is my design. Okay. Title, plain text to read the two numbers, text view to display the result and two number, four buttons to perform the arithmetic operations. As I mentioned earlier, here we are going to perform four basic arithmetic operations. That is it. Okay. So as I mentioned earlier, so whenever you are going to design, write the design like this, firstly fix the layout, which layout you are going to use. So please remember, you either you can go with the constraint or relative one. So it is better, I will go with the relative layout. The layout that I am going to use here is relative layout and list the components required. Just observe how many text views are required. One is to display the title, other one is to display the result. So how many text views are required? Two text views are required. So how many plain texts are required? Why? Because the plain texts are the components which I am using to read the input from the user, such as number one and number two. So how many plain texts are required? Plain text two. So next, how many buttons? One, two, three, four buttons are required. So this is my design requirement. The layout that I am going to use here is relative layout and the components are text view, plain text and four buttons. Clear? So whenever by, by, by entering the number one and number two, whenever the user clicks on this add, the addition should happen and the result should be addition of those two numbers. So when the, if the user clicks on subtraction, subtraction should happen and the result should be displayed. Is it clear? This is my design requirement in this while uh, uh, developing the application, I will show how to add the int for this plain text, how to add the int feature. 
Is that clear? This is my design requirement for the simple calculator application. Title, two numbers, result, and four buttons. Let's start the development. In this demonstration, I'm going to show how to develop a simple calculator. Firstly, I will create a new project. Okay. So I'm going to select the empty activity and I'm going to give the project name as Calci application and the language is Java and I'll click on finish. So whenever you create a new project, it's better to close the previous one. Otherwise, the system will get slower. Okay, terminate the previous project. Okay, so calculate the application. I think you all are clear about the design requirements that we have discussed in the simple calculator application. So we need two plain text to read the numbers and we need two text views, one text view to display the title, another one text view to, to display the result and we need four buttons. Okay, so now my application is ready. Okay, just observe the Gradle synchronization is finished. So I will go to design part. Firstly, I will change the layout. Why? Because initially it is present in the constraint. The only one problem with the constraint layout is, so you need to set the constraints for all four sides. Okay, that's why I will change the layout to relative layout. So as I mentioned earlier, I will go, I'm going to select till the constraint layout and I'm going to change it to relative. Okay, so now the design page is ready and the layout is relative. Firstly, I'm going to add a text view. This text view reason, the purpose of this text view is to uh, display the title. That's it. The purpose of this text view to display the title. What's the title that we have defined in the design? That is simple Calci. Set the cursors and place it in a particular position and text view that is Select the text. I need to change this to simple Calci and I need to increase the size. Just selecting this component and search for the attribute, you can change the attributes here itself. Okay. So now I am given with the, I am done with the giving the title. Okay. So next I need to add two plain text. That is nothing but two edit text which we refer in the code. In code part, we are going to refer the same plain text as edit text. Don't get confused. Okay. Plain text. Okay. Drag and drop those two plain text here. Okay. And set the cursors. Okay. So add another one plain text. and set the cursors. So please observe here. So these plain text which we have added, what's the difference between text view and plain text as I discussed earlier. So text view will be used to display something to the user. Plain text will be used to get the input from the user. So this plain text, so I need to indicate the user that they have to enter the number one here, number two is to be entered here. But the thing is, we have name. Okay, so if you look at, if you just remember the Gmail or Facebook login, there they will give the hint, enter the phone number or email, enter the password. It's not an actual text, it's just a hint. So now I need to provide the hint, like that hint, I need to provide the hint to the user here, enter the number one and number two. For that, I'm going to change the attribute here, just observe. I will go to the code part. I will go to the code part. So please observe what I have added to my design, plain text. But here I am referring it as edit text, don't get confused. Okay. So what you have added to the design, that you have added plain text. But here we are referring that as edit text. The length, just look at the length of the ID. Edit text, text, person, name. No, this much length is not required. That's why I am going to change the ID. So I will make it as edit text number one. I will make it short. Edit text one. So please observe what's the text present in that edit text name. So make it null. Don't remove the whole attribute. Make it null. Okay. And add int. 
wherever you need you feel convenient you can add the int that in in that particular line either in the second line last line wherever i will add the int so what's the hint that i'm planning to give to the user that is enter number 1 is it clear do the same for the second plain text that you have added so i will change the title i will change the um, id i will make it as edit text to you can customize as per your requirement why because so it's easy to remember so first plain text will be referred as edit text 1 second plain text will be referred as edit text 2 okay so as i done in, in the previous edit text i will make the text attribute as null and i will add the int what's the int int enter number 2 okay so now i will show the difference in the design just observe previously it was showing name right now please observe what i am getting here enter number 1 number 2 those two statements are deferred they um, uh, are represented in the form of ints not the actual text okay so once after that as per my design which we have discussed now i need to add a text view this text view purpose is to what's the purpose of this text view to print to display the result okay and i will set it here so what's the initial result for any calculator it will be zero right i will select this text view and and i will i will, I will uh, change the text and i will make it zero okay and i will change the size why because so please observe unless until you select that component that attribute will not be visible i will change the size why because it's not visible zero is not visible is that clear So now I need to add four buttons. As I mentioned earlier, first one to perform addition. First one to perform addition. So if you want to add the same components again and again, just do Control C and Control V. control v okay there is no need of uh, dragging dropping it once again just control c and control v so i need to change the title right the first button is responsible for what i will need to change the text on that button that is what i am doing in the first button add similarly the second button subtract the third one multiplication the fourth one division is it clear my design is ready the title is calci i have used two plain text uh, number 1 and number 2 i have removed the uh, value of the attribute text and have placed int enter the number 1 enter the number 2 and have added a text view and i have added the text view and i have made it the value zero and i have increased the font size and i have added four buttons the name of those four buttons are add subtraction multiplication and division okay so please observe in this program we will work only on these three components to plain text and the result so it's better you note down the ids of these three components just observe go to the code part so id of the first number is the user is going to what user is going to enter the edit text in the first plain text its id is edit text 1 the next one uh, id is edit text 2 so similarly there is a text view right this is the one by looking at this zero you can come to conclusion that this is the text view from which we are going to get the result so i am going to rename the id as text view 1 okay so while renaming you have to make sure that it should not there should not be any collision you should not use the same uh, ids again and again is that clear so just change the ids of three components why because those three components will be recur referred in your program the id of first plain text 2 edit text 1 the id of second plain text 2 edit text 2 
and the id of the result giving text view to text view one okay so once you are done with this change so start doing the java part i will go to the java part so just observe as i mentioned earlier in the previous videos so if you want to identify any particular component okay you must identify after the set content view so here we are working with the three components why because we will recognize what user has entered in the edit text one what user has entered in the edit text two and we will perform the arithmetic operation and we will print the result in the text view result giving text view okay that's why i will recognize those components so that i will declare the global variables here for edit text edit text e1 and e2 from here onwards e1 and e2 means it's nothing but edit text next i will define text view text view i will use the variable as text view 1 this is the one which is responsible for providing the output result so now i need to recognize these three components in my program so as i mentioned earlier so you have to recognize the any particular component after the set content view okay so what is e1 means edit text is equal to the method that we are going to find that we are going to use to recognize this find view by id r dot id dot as i mentioned earlier note down it is edit text 1 i have, I have indicated earlier itself to note down the id of plain text 1 it's nothing but edit text 1 similarly e2 means what edit text 2 recognize that find view by id r dot id dot edit text 2 similarly what's the id of text view which gives the result text view 1 tv1 means what find view by id r dot id dot text view 1 okay so we are done with the identification of the components which are required for the computation purpose the user is going to enter the number 1 in this edit text 1 number 2 in this edit text 2 result will be displayed in this text view clear so now i will add the methods by using the indirect invocation method that i have discussed in the previous video just i am going to write a method by name add public void add okay so you have to provide the view for any method that you are going to add okay so don't type everything manually otherwise it will give the error just observe if i type this view manually is it visible the error why because the package that is required for this view that is android view dot view it's not present if that's the case how to rectify this error just simple place cursor on this error alt enter calci application main activity dot java calci application dot app android okay so otherwise just observe don't type everything manually use the intelligence okay i am done with the writing a method add so what i am doing going to do in this method just simple firstly i am going to declare an integer by name a1 what is this a1 so what is there what's the user has entered in the edit text 1 that i am referring as a1 here that is firstly parse integer dot parse the int what is there in edit text 1 means what e1 from we are e1 means what edit text 1 dot get text that is entered in the edit text 1 and convert that to string just observe what is there in the edit text get the text and convert that to string i'm using an inbuilt function dot call parse int and i'm storing that as an integer a1 i will do the same for a2 that is int a2 is equal to integer dot parse int what is there in the e2 dot get the text and convert that to string and store it as a2 is it clear a2 means what what the user has entered in the 
edit text to get the text and convert that to string and i will refer here onwards as a2 okay so next so i will i need to compute what's the operation that i'm performing here add addition operation so the result will be given by int result is equal to a1 plus a2 i am performing arithmetic operation addition on this a1 and a2 next i need to set the result what's the result that i have obtained i need to display it in the text view what's the text view reference that we are using here tv1 okay tv1 dot set the text of tv1 so we have converted the text to string so now we need to convert the string back to text that's why i will use double quotes plus result is it clear so we are done with the writing the method for addition similarly we need to write it for subtraction that is public void subtract and you have to provide the view first i will parse the e1 and i will call it as a1 integer a1 integer dot parse int what is there in the e1 get the text and convert it to string a2 means what the integer that is present in the e2 get the text and convert it to string so how to perform the uh, subtraction operation int <coughs> int result is equal to a1 minus a2 so once after performing the subtraction operation you have to set the result giving text view that is nothing but tv1 dot set the text so you have to convert it back to text and concatenate the result same should be done with respect to multiplication public void multiply and you have to provide the view any method you are going to write for that matter you have to provide the view firstly i will pass the integer int a1 is equal to integer dot parse int what is there in the e1 get the text and convert it to string same a2 is equal to <coughs> integer dot parse int e2 dot get the text and convert it to string int result how the result will be computed for the multiplication that is a1 into a2 and finally set the result tv1 dot set text convert it back to text by using the double quotes and result okay finally the last one that is nothing but even you can make use of a uh, you can copy this method and you can paste it here and you can change the name and you can change the operator even you can do that but uh, uh you have to change the name of the method as well as the operator but with respect to division you have to change the data type also why because if you make use of int means it will truncate the fractional value the values will be rounded off okay so i am done with the writing the methods such as addition subtraction multiplication and division as i mentioned as as i explained in the indirect invocation once after writing the methods like this independently how you write it in the java programming you have to go for the design part you have to go for the design part you have to search for that component when the division should happen when the um, addition should happen the addition should happen so please observe you have to search for the buttons when the addition should happen whenever the user clicks on this button the title is had when the user clicks on this button the addition will happen right so make a new line here place on click so what's the method that should be triggered when this button will be uh, entered pressed by the user add okay similarly go for the other buttons which are available here which method should be triggered 
with respect to this button what's the button text multiplication whenever the user clicks on this button multiplication method should be triggered so next whenever the user clicks on this button just look at the text that is present what's the text that we have here division make sure that you are going to place the same method okay next what's the text we have here subtraction whenever the user clicks on this button subtraction should happen so there is no indication that you have to place the on click in that particular line itself you can place wherever it you feel convenient before the closing tag before the closing tag is it clear so we are done with this application now i will execute it so the things that you have to remember here is firstly you have to design uh, as per our design requirement you have to rename the ids of the components such as edit text plain text 1 and 2 to edit text 1 and edit text 2 and you have to rename the id of the result giving text view that is 2 text view 1 so coming to the design layout that we are going to use here is relative layout so we need two text view one is to display the title other one is to display the result we need two plain text one is to display one is to get the number one other one is to get the number two and we need four buttons one is to perform addition subtraction multiplication and division just observe my output is ready here so this is my application where i'm going to enter the first number as 23 and the second number as 45 okay you can use this downward arrow to close this keypad and enter the result of addition is 68 subtraction is minus 22 multiplication 1335 division 0.511114 okay so the things that you have to remember here is firstly you have to design like this okay firstly you have to design by using the title calc Uh, and two plain text and the out to, to for the output purpose you have to use the text view and you have to make it zero and add four buttons once after that go to java part identify three components which are important which play a vital role in my, my our, our application that is such as edit text one and text views so i will recognize those edit text and text view once after that i will write the method for add subtraction and uh, multiplication and division so once after writing this methods go to the code part of that particular design for every individual button add that particular method so the button name is division add the division method you can use any name but you have to use the same uh, uh, if, if in case if you make a mistake uh, if you represent if you place the multiplication method inside the division uh, button means whenever the user clicks on the division method button the multiplication event will happen the multiplication uh, operation will happen okay so this is the output you can see the output here what i am getting this completes the program number 2 thank you